Carlo Ancelotti, so it's a defeat is not what you were looking for today. Were you surprised but with such a defensive version of Barcelona today? I think that uh, this is a credit for us because I think we we pressed well, we didn't give them the opportunity to to play the, the football that they want. Of course the result is not good, but the performance was good. We are uh, we are satisfied. I am satisfied for the performance of the team. We are able to repeat this kind of performance and the second, uh, and the next in the, um, the game in Barcelona, I think we have opportunity, the possibility to move on. Mm, so yesterday you complained about that uh, Super Cup final, that maybe the, the, the performance, the attitude there was not the correct. So you think today it was, a, and what was missing from, from your team because you didn't show yeah, It was target. difficult to find Spain in the last uh, third of the of the pitch because they were really close, uh, they defended. Uh, deep and uh, what was difficult to to find opportunities so mentally for for a team they are going to see each other barcelona three times in 35 days is it really tough to to stand up the, the team to play against now betis no, and later barcelona i don't barcelona think so twice? because i think that we had the control of the game and this is what we we have to plan against them to have a control of the game is really important we had the control uh, of the game our game was good the result, no, but we have 90 minutes more. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Carlo. Uh, Gemma joins us now. Gemma, I've heard that you've been hit by a ball and the sprinklers <laughs> uh, <laughs> post game. Very yes, fun. Which was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it was almost as fun as the, the, the game, the, the truth. I mean, it was like, exciting. El Clásico is always something special. And uh, yet another time that topical that uh, who arrives better at El Clásico doesn't mean that they are going to win. I think it's what happened earlier today here at the Santiago Bernabeu with Real Madrid absolutely frustrated by Barcelona. It was uh, an extremely defensive version of Barca. They they just had 35% possession here. Is the lowest possession in, uh, since 2008. Um, they, they generate really not much Barcelona, but, but Real Madrid generated much less. Not, mm. not a single shot on target. Uh, extremely difficulties to... Uh, Karim Benzema di didn't feel like very comfortable. Um, Ronald Araujo is the kryptonite for Vinicius. Uh, he was unable to generate any kind of uh, danger. Um, so I, I was a little bit surprised by that kind of optimistic version of uh, Carlo Ancelotti saying, we just need to do the same. Next time it's going to go better. I've just shouted at him, Gemma. No <laughs> shots on target. You had no shots on target. I don't care about control. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's true that, they, it, I mean, let's give them credit. They managed to uh, steal the ball from Barcelona, but no. uh, I mean, Barcelona, they, they were in an exercise of surviving. Uh, they were missing four of their key players. They were playing away from home after two defeats in a row. So. They, they came here to survive and to try to forget about that to the feeds and, and to get a, a result, a decent result to try to, to win in a month uh, time in, in Barcelona. So it's been a strange, I think if there is a happy person in Madrid right now, that person is El Cholo Simeone, because watching Barcelona play like almost his Atletico, he must felt uh, very proud. Uh, of yours, you're not happy, you're very objective. Definitely no Barcelona bias from you, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.